Simple hoop houses or tunnels such as this one can dramatically extend the growing season. Under here I'm growing spinach and oriental leaves and in my area, given this added layer of protection, I can look forward to picking leaves throughout the winter. It's really very easy to make your own, quickly, cheaply and that will last for many years. In this video, we'll show you how. For this project you'll need some PVC water piping about half an inch or 12 millimetres diameter, plus some 20 inch or 50 centimetre long lengths of rebar, two pipe caps and some cable ties or strong garden wire. To cover the hoop house you'll need some greenhouse plastic or strong polythene, sections of pipe insulation or similar soft material and some spring clamps or pegs to hold the cover in place. You'll also need a hacksaw and a hammer. Begin by hammering in the lengths of rebar at equal distances along your garden bed. These will support the hoops. Space them a maximum of 3 foot or 90 centimetres apart along each side. Leave 6 to 8 inches or 15 to 20 centimetres of the rebar above ground. Now cut lengths of pipe to make the hoops. The hoop should be long enough to bend into a half circle, allowing a little extra to give enough height for plants growing near the sides. Flex the hoops into position onto their rebar supports. The ridge pole links the hoops together and stabilises the structure. It will also support the cover to prevent sagging. Measure it out so that it slightly protrudes at each end of the hoop house. Cut to size, then cap or tape the ends to stop them snagging the cover. Secure them onto the hoops using cable ties or garden wire. Cover the hoop house with your polythene. You may need to cut this to size first. Secure it to the hoops using short lengths of pipe insulation or soft rubber tubing opened out lengthways. This protects the polythene from the clamps that follow to hold it all firmly in place. Weigh down the edges of the polythene with stones or bricks. For a tidier seal, you can wrap the sides of the cover around long poles or bamboo canes, which can then be pegged down at regular intervals using tent pegs, taking care not to damage the cover. The ends of the cover should be pinned or weighed down whenever cold or frosty weather is forecast. This will also stop the wind from getting in underneath and tearing the cover off. Adding row covers to your cropping schedule will help you to extend your growing season. Our garden planner allows you to add these and other protected structures to your plan with ease. Simply select structures from the drop down menu, then scroll through the selection bar to choose the type of crop protection you want to use. Let's go with a hoop house. Click to pick it up, move the cursor to where you want it on your plan, then click or drag it out to place it. You can resize or rotate the hoop house using the handles. The accompanying plant list automatically adjusts the sowing and harvest dates to take account of the extra frost protection this offers. You can adjust these preset dates via the information box accompanying the structure description. Just select how many weeks earlier and how many weeks later the effective frost date is under the hoop house at the bottom of the box. The dates will adjust accordingly. Hoop houses are easy to make and mean you can enjoy produce during even the coldest months of the year, so it's well worth making your own. We'd love to hear how you protect your vegetables over the winter, so drop us a comment below and tell us. And if you haven't yet done so, why not subscribe to our video series? Just click on the subscribe button below this video and I look forward to catching up with you next time.